A great program for putting files on your website is FileZilla. Real simple to use. I put in my address in the address bar there. Put in my username and password. Hit enter. And it shows me my website here on the right. Create a folder. I just right click and hit create directory. Change the name. And now one thing that you may not be used to is having to adjust the properties, which is the permissions. You can either go through and hit all the checkboxes of everything you want, and generally you want to keep it with all permissions enabled, or you can just type in the number here. And numbers you'll get to memorize, and you see it changes the checkboxes. 777 is a real common one. To open it up, just double click. On the left you'll see your actual folders on your own hard drive. You can do it one of two ways. You can either drag over an entire folder, you see down at the bottom it puts, in, puts it in the queue. Or you can go into each individual folder, select the folder, and down below you can actually see the files in that folder. To select individual files, just click on the first one. You can shift click on the last one that you want to choose. It'll select all the ones in between. And then you can drag those over to the right. I'm going to wait till the queue finishes processing a little bit so you can see it a little better. This is a great program. It works on pretty much any operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux, and it always looks the same. So very simple, very easy to use. You can even drag from other windows. If you open a My Computer window, you can drag that right over to the right there from outside of this. You don't have to use the built-in navigator. <clears throat> Okay, and I'm going to drag these four files over here. And you'll see it actually adds it down below the existing files. So I got a few more than four. And you can see them appear as it goes through. So now you see all the files there. If you want to delete some of them, you can select as many as you want. Hit the delete key on the keyboard, and it'll go through and delete them. Another real nice feature about this is the fact that it will automatically continue or recover. If I drag something over that's already there, you get a choice here. Overwrite, overwrite it if it's newer. You can even make sure it does it for all the existing files. One other thing here, you, if it gets interrupted, uh, for example you lose your internet connection while it's uploading, I'm going to do it manually by unchecking the process queue. It automatically keeps it in the queue uh, once the internet connection is back up, it'll continue to keep trying again. Every once in a while you'll see, like here I had an error, I had these two files here, uh, didn't actually process correctly. I'm going to right click and just hit abort. I'm going to select these two files that didn't actually work correctly. I'm going to delete those. I'm just going to bring them back over. So that's today's tip. If you find the software useful, go ahead and do a donation by hitting the help about FileZilla. It's always good to support open source software. It really helps build the community. Anyway, till next time.